Uh, Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. It's here. It's a new line extension, actually, for Elijah Craig, uh, but it is allocated. It's 50 bucks. Does it have what it takes to go against Woodford Reserve Double Oaked and Old Forester 1910? Let's find out today on the Mash and Drum. So if you guys didn't know already, Elijah Craig was a Baptist preacher who is credited by some historians with being the first person, whether by accident or necessity, put his distillate into charred oak barrels, which gives bourbon that rich color and flavor. Heaven Hill has been selling their bourbon that pays tribute to Elijah Craig since 1986. Their small batch and barrel proof offerings are considered today one of the best values on the market. Personally, I think this bottle right here, the Elijah Craig barrel proof is the best value on the market. But today we are tasting the new toasted barrel in which fully matured Elijah Craig small batch bourbon is dumped and then re-entered at barrel proof into a second custom toasted new oak barrel designed in partnership with Independent Stave Company. This is made with 18 month air dried oak. The finishing barrel is first toasted and then flash charred using a moderate toast temperature and toast time. An extensive research and development process resulted in a final barrel toast profile bringing forward dark sugar flavors within the wood to create a balance of smokiness and sweetness after months of finishing. Okay, let's talk about toasting versus charring a bit. Nerd alert! Most of you know that barrels for bourbon are normally charred, but toasting is a bit different. So during barrel production, the insides of barrels are typically toasted either over an open flame or even in an oven. Toasting both mellows the tannins in the wood as well as changes the flavors the barrel might impart from raw wood to more spicy vanilla notes. Toasting actually helps release the vanillin from the cellulose in the wood. There are varying degrees of toasting from a light toast to a heavy toast. And as you might imagine, that changes the way it can influence a whiskey and the way it tastes. Uh, Michter's toasted rye and toasted bourbon, Old Forester 1910 and Woodford Double Oak are pretty well known bourbons for using this method. The word charred implies that something has gone past toasting to partially burning and charred barrels on the inside basically look black. Charred wood ends up being becoming sort of an activated carbon filter which can help remove sulfur compounds from a whiskey and make a smoother drink. Charred barrels also impart a darker color, a little bit of smokiness, as well as caramel, honey, vanilla, and plenty of spice to that whiskey. All right, so to the bourbon, Elijah Craig Toasted is available now, although it is allocated, but will be a permanent line extension to the brand. It's 94 proof, the usual Heaven Hill mash bill of 78% corn, 12% malted barley, and 10% rye, and priced about 50 bucks. All right, let's get toasty here. Let's see what we got on the nose, guys. Man, this smells like s'mores on the nose. It really does. Chocolate, graham cracker, marshmallow. Man, it's really sweet. Ton of vanilla on the nose. Man, and it's, it, I can't get s'mores out of my head. It's like a perfect uh, graham cracker, chocolate, toasted marshmallow type flavor. All right, let's, let's whip some air around in the glass here so we can get it to open up a little bit. I'm actually getting some fruit flavors in here too, which is surprising. Maybe like a pear or an apple. Beautiful cinnamon and nutmeg, like kind of like a nice spicy graham cracker. There's definitely some oak tannins coming through here too. You definitely get the spice of the wood. Yeah, but the chocolate, the graham cracker, also getting a good amount of alcohol here. There is some heat coming out of here, being only 94 proof. A little surprising, but you do just get some heat on the nose. All right, let's go for a sip of Elijah Craig Toasted. Let's check it out. Here we go. Mm, man, that is uh, oaky. Way more of an oak punch than I thought I expected from this. It is very sweet, especially right up front, but there is a lot of oak influence here from that toast. I do like the combination here so far in the first sip of sweet, 
and oak, giving a good balance, some chocolate going on the back end. All right, let's try a second sip and see where this ends up here. Here we go. So right up front, you get all the beautiful chocolate graham cracker notes we were talking about. Some vanilla, a little bit of baking spice there. As soon as this hits mid palate though, it gets a little bit drying. You definitely get the wood notes. There's some, there's some serious like spiciness going on too. I think that toasting, it pulled out a lot of that, the spicy tannins to it, which I do like. And I think I was expecting a little bit more sweetness from the front. The front is delicious, the front of the palate, but it just doesn't last long enough so far. Let's go for another sip here. Yeah, so as you keep sipping this, this goes from marshmallow graham cracker to more richer vanilla caramel. That chocolate note is still there, a little bit of spice. Yeah, the, the finish on this is way more, um, what's the word here, prickly? It's a little bit more prickly than I thought it was gonna be. I think whatever barrels or whatever the process they did, it really pulled out the spiciness out of a barrel. So you have to really like sweet and spice so far on this, and I really do. So I'm kind of enjoying this, but I just thought the sweet flavors, I thought would be a little bit more, you know, kind of punchy in the face a little bit. And go for another sip. All right, so that spiciness has mellowed out a little bit as you sip it. Now you're just really left with the sweet flavors, the oak presence, a little bit of spice. So I do like this, it is very unique. It's, it's nothing, I think it's gonna be, we're gonna do a comparison here in a bit, uh, cause I love to do comparisons. Uh, I think uh, we're gonna compare it to Woodford Double Oaked and also Old Forester 1910. I do think there, there's gonna be some heavy differences here, but when you look at stuff on the shelf, like Woodford and 1910, you know, there's not a lot of, you know, toasted bourbons that are on the market. So I think it is smart for Elijah Craig to bring this to market, especially, you know, a lot of people know Michter's toasted, the rye and the bourbon, those are really hard to get. A lot of times they're, you know, way overpriced, unfortunately. Yeah, let's do a comparison and see how this stacks up because I'm curious. I do like it. I do think, you know, it's a little bit drying on the palate, but let's give it a compare to Double Oaked and 1910. All right, so we're gonna compare here. Like I mentioned, I got Woodford Double Oaked, I got 1910, both Brown Foreman products. Let's compare Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel to Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. Wow, both very sweet, both on a little bit different sides of the spectrum here when it comes to what you're getting in the nose. Eliza Craig Toasted, it's way more marshmallow and graham cracker, as I mentioned. Woodford Reserve is just way more chocolate, a little bit more cherry. Man, as this Eliza Craig Toasted is opening up, the, the, the marshmallow flavor is just punching me in the face. It smells delicious. Now, Woodford Reserve here, Woodford Reserve, I'm getting a little bit more of a darker, richer, oakier flavor on the nose to go along with that chocolate, deep, rich caramel, brown sugars. All right, so I taste the Woodford. Man, so when you compare it, I think the Woodford is sweeter on the palate. I like the nose on the Elijah Craig Toasted, I think a little bit better, but the, the Toasted is just, you know, drying me out a little bit. Let me go for another sip of the Toasted here. Yeah, the toasted is just a little bit more oak tannic. A lot of oak tannins coming through. It's kind of pulling moisture out. Definitely spicier than the Woodford Double Oaked as well. This one has way more of a sweet and spice type profile to it. Whereas the Woodford Double Oaked just drinks a little bit easier, a little bit more oaky on the nose. It's kind of the reverse, but, but way more sweet on the palate and not nearly as spicy as the, uh, the toasted barrel. Let's go to the 1910. So the 1910 now, remember, they're using a lightly toasted barrel that is charred to the point of almost incineration. So the 1910 whiskey has a ton of oak on the nose, especially, you know, you still got that quintessential banana flavor from Old Forester, but this is chocolate covered banana, or if you took like a cup of coffee and you, you know, instead of using some kind of vanilla creamer, maybe you use like a banana creamer, basically what I'm getting on the nose here. It sounds kind of gross though, banana creamer in a coffee. I don't know. I'm kind of a purist when it comes to my coffee. I like that, I like it straight up, very little sugar, pretty much black, maybe a touch of cream, but that's pretty much it. I'm Italian, I grew up with espresso in my baby bottle. Freaking delicious. All right, let's go for a sip of the 1910. 
So the 1910 is 93 proof. Uh, Woodford Reserve is, as always, 90.4. And the Elijah Craig is the highest one at 94 proof. So um, for the Old Fine Whiskey, again, you're getting the, there. there is some serious oak flavor going on in here. Love the banana. I love the coffee and chocolate note here. And this is one of those bottles, 1910, that if you haven't had it yet, it gets better as it opens up. And this is kind of a fresh bottle. Um, when I first reviewed it, I wasn't actually that crazy about it when I first tried it until it opened up, got all these flavors coming in. It was really good and it gets better over time. The old fine whiskey, you get the chocolate. You definitely get a little bit of a cherry, a ton of, a ton of oak char. You definitely get that on the palate as well. Again, a little bit of banana, but I love the little hint of coffee flavor here. Really good. All right, so all three of these offer something a little bit different. If you like oak, coffee, dark chocolate, definitely some more, like I said, a little bit more oak to the profile. 1910 is gonna be your go-to for 60 bucks. If you don't want as much oak, you want more candy sweet, especially on the palate. Woodford Double Oaked, which is probably the most available out of these two, the Woodford Reserve, you cannot go wrong with the Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. So for the Elijah Craig Toasted, I feel like I wish this was as in your face sweet on the palate as it is on the nose. You get it when you first start sipping it. You get the sweet. The sweet comes through, very marshmallowy, very chocolatey, graham cracker, cinnamon, comes all rushed in the, you know, the, for that first sip. But as you keep sipping it, the oak, the spice, the tannins kind of take over a little bit, kind of dries you out. I don't know, I feel like this would be one, this would be a huge winner if the first sip kept continuing on. If I got that same experience from third, fourth, fifth sip, this thing would be an absolute hitter. But for me, it's just missing a little bit something on the palate and the finish. All right, guys, so price for this one is 50 bucks. As I mentioned, availability is allocated. These bottles will be spread across different markets. Unfortunately, to get better share for most liquor stores, retail outlets are usually forced to move or sell more of a distributor's lower end liquors. I do know these have popped up in Virginia, but not sure where these will end up distribution wise. Uh, for the value, I think it's even. I think given the barrel toasting and the process it takes to create this bourbon, it definitely puts it on par with others like Double Oaked and 1910 for the price. All right, so when it comes to recommendation, uh, what do I say here? I don't know, this, is one, this one was tough for me. Um, I wanna keep sipping on this, but I'm gonna say yes. I, I think that there's enough here that brings more of a unique flavor profile that I think a lot of people will, will enjoy this. I don't think it's gonna be for everyone. Like I said, I, I really wish the sweetness on the nose matched the palate a little bit more. So while I myself might not go crazy and try to find another bottle of this, I think for you out there, uh, if you like those flavor profiles that I talked about, the mix of sweet spice. Um, again, though, as you keep sipping it, it definitely gets a little bit more oak forward rather than sweet. It is unique. Uh, for 50 bucks, if you could get one, I, you know, I don't think it's a, it's a bad buy for $50. Um, you know, Double Oaked and 1910 are kind of the same price. If you like a toasted barrel profile, I think give it a try. But if you're not crazy about bourbons that are a little bit oak and spicy forward, with a little bit of a drying aspect to it, you might want to skip this one. All right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed my review for the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel Bourbon. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't yet, find me on Instagram and find me on Twitter. Let me know if you guys have had this yet, what you think of it. I think it's kind of a polarizing bottle uh, for me personally. I, it's like I like it, but I, I know I was expecting a little bit more on the palate, uh, but it is still very good. So um, with that, as I always say, it's not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. So cheers, and I'll see you next time on The Mash and Drum. Take care, everybody.